Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanilungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day, and we've been able to do that thanks to everyone that that's been giving us things to react to who we'll appreciate the links that you drop us so if there's anything that you want to see on this channel drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it we react to many different things not just religious things but we react to music as well um uh, if you want us to react to skits we can react to skits if you want us to react to just anything that you find interesting be it adverts so yeah um we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 point all and you can find our weekly vlogs there and you can just subscribe and enjoy the content that we're putting out there we've got um a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we have some amazing conversations i really enjoy um making these podcasts because we're talking about something that's happening something we want um something we have an opinion about so if you have an opinion about something listen to our listen to our conversations maybe drop your opinion and we see how we can start a conversation from there and we've got a patreon called funny and jesse you guys can feel free to become members you can find our podcast on itunes spotify our youtube channel and pod been as well so just feel free it doesn't matter what you're doing you're driving to work you're coming back from work you're cooking you're about to sleep you can listen to our conversations because we really enjoy making those so yeah a big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing to our channel thank you for fourteen thousand subscribers plus that's fourteen thousand plus subscribers thank you for thank you very much thank you for watching thank you for giving us things to react to and just thank you for sticking around you guys are the best and a big shout out to the person that suggested this and before i get into this please guys check out my blog you can find the link to my blog in the description in the community section on our channel and you guys can just follow those links and check out whatever i've written i really wanted to start something that I was going to be proud of something that's my own without being influenced by anyone and that's what happened with that vlog but uh, blog and so you guys can just head there check it out read you don't have to comment just read i'll be very very glad to know that someone out there is reading something that i'm writing it's just it would just be very very amazing so you check out my blog um you can actually and actually follow me on social media as well safani so l on instagram you can find our facebook a funny and jesse our instagram funny and jesse and just feel free to start a conversation a conversation with us on those um platforms and we'll um write back to you so today we'll be reacting to what happens to our soul between between our death and resurrection Asim Al Hakim. I read that right, I think. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Irfan says, What happens to us at the time of death and up until the day of resurrection? Irfan, this is something that we don't have enough knowledge of. We know that when a person is on his deathbed, that he undergoes the process of his soul exiting his body. And this is when the angel of death takes his body. Takes, that is, let me rephrase that, when the angel of death takes his soul from his body. A believer, as the Prophet said, والسلام, would have his soul depart his body like a drop coming out of a water container, softly and nicely and without any pain. This doesn't mean that before the soul came out, he is not suffering. No, we know that people suffer before they die either to illness, either to pain. The Prophet suffered والسلام, before his death and he used to put his hand in a water container and wipe his face and say, La ilaha illallah, inna lil mawti sakarat. 
that death has agony. And we believe that a disbeliever, his soul is extracted from his body like when you have a metal rod with thorns in it dipped into wet wool and you try to extract it, extract it and take it out. It tears the wool to parts. Yet this doesn't mean that a disbeliever would not die in a peaceful way, the way we see it. The pain and the anguish and the agony is when the angel of death takes his soul, but we don't see this. So what comes before it is not an indication. The actual action is when the soul is snatched out. Then, after that, the soul is taken by the angels. The believer's soul goes up to the seventh heaven. And every heaven, the angels find a beautiful scent. And they said, who's this? And they would tell the other angels that this is so-and-so, the son of so-and-so. And they would give salam and they would yani, uh, comment and praise him. Until he reaches the seventh heaven and Allah Azza wa tells the angel of death to take him back to the grave and let him rest till the day of judgment. And to open a window in his grave from paradise where he will get some of the breeze and the coolness and the beauty and he would enjoy his stay in his grave. The disbeliever, they would take his soul only to the lower heaven. He would not go any further and each group of angels that the angels of death pass by, they would find an awful odor and, 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 and scent and say, Udu Billah, whose smell is this? And they would say, he's so-and-so, the son of so-and-so, and they would nickname him with the worst of names and they would curse him. And then he would be dropped from the, seven, from the first heaven, the lower heaven, to his grave and he would smash in his grave and he would be punished by Munkar wa Nakir. And Allah Azza wa Jal would tell them to open a window from hellfire in his grave till the day of judgment. And he would be tormented and, 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 and punished. This is roughly speaking in a nutshell what will happen till the day of resurrection. What goes in between this is something what we don't have any knowledge of. We have only general knowledge and Allah Azza wa knows best and may Allah Azza wa protect us all. Very, very interesting video. The entire, this entire time I've been thinking, why seven heavens? I think I've asked, the first time we started doing these religious reactions, I think I asked, why do we have seven heavens in existence or stages of heaven in existence if there's someone out there with the answer to that please let me know so that i understand this better also when it comes to death i mean such things really scare me but then when it comes to death um how do we really know that the the, the believer actually goes to heaven before that put before that soul goes back to the grave and is put to rest how do we know that the bad people, uh, whatever happens to them, not bad people, but disbelievers rather. So it's just something, when it comes to death and resurrection, I feel like you have to be dead for you to know what happens between death and resurrection. Although for resurrection, we're not aware because it hasn't happened yet. And for us people that are still living, I don't think we have much say on this issue of death like he said i really like i really like this video and appreciate the person that suggested this so if there's anything that you guys want us to react to positive things not just about death you can drop us the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to them so if there's anything that you guys want to say about this video let us know in the comment something you want us to react to leave us a link in the comment section and we'll be very very grateful um so make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video